Let's find the tangent of 112.5 degrees. Well, you'll notice that 112.5 degrees is really 225 over 2. It's important because you need to know what um, what you're really going to be able to use. And so what I'm going to use is the half angle formula. Look at my cheat sheet here. This is the tangent half angle formula. Is right here. I can choose either one of these to use. So I'm gonna. I, I prefer this one because I like the denominator to be simpler. So one minus cosine x over sine x. So this equals one minus the cosine of 225 all over the sine of 225. Now if we look at our unit circle, my unit circle at 225. That's right here. The sine and the cosine are both negative root 2 over 2. So negative root 2 over 2 is going to go in here. And notice how I'm using parentheses so I don't accidentally screw it up. That happens a lot. Now what happens to the signs right here? These signs become both positive. Now let's keep simplifying this. I'm going to turn this into 2 over 2. So I have a common denominator. 2 plus root 2 all over 2. That's the numerator. All over negative root 2 over 2. Now here's the trick, remember, with when I'm, when I'm dividing by a fraction. And the reason I combined those two together was because I want to be able to have one fraction divided by another fraction. So how do I divide by a fraction? I'm going to rewrite the top. I multiply it by the reciprocal, which was, by the way, a negative. Now when I do that, I'll change colors again so you can see what I'm doing. These twos, remember, this is like this, multiplying this. Those cancel to 1. I still have a negative, by the way. But my answer is, ne I'm going to go ahead and distribute that into the top. Negative 2 minus root 2 all over root 2. Still not done, because now I have to multiply the top and bottom by root 2 over 2, because I'm trying to get rid of that radical in the denominator. I'll continue this over here. So that's going to equal negative 2 root 2 minus these multiplied together is going to give me root 4, which is 2, all over root 2 times root 2 is 2. And hey, look what I can do now. I can factor out a 2. In fact, I'll factor out a negative 2 from the top. Now I'll just factor out a 2 from the top because I'm going to have a negative. I'm going to factor 2 out, and I'm left with a negative root 2 minus 1 all over 2. Hmm. And these cancel now, and it gives me negative root 2 minus 1. And to check it, see if it's right, use your calculator, punch this in, make sure you're in degree mode, and then punch this in and see if those two values are the same, and they should be. And they are the same. I just checked it. All right, so let me just make a point about something. The real problem with this is algebra. So if you don't remember your algebra rules, go back and review some of those videos and practice, practice, practice. That's the best thing to do.